Drive, it's about power. <laughs> Free NBA Young Boy! Ah! Elite Smash! Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash. And I think it's time to finish yet another series for this Road to Elite Smash. I think last time we got Rob into Elite Smash, the only one of his kind, and are almost done with the Animal Crossing series as we got in Isabel around last April. That means there's only one Animal Crossing character left, and is the mayor of Smashville, and that's going to be Villager. And Villager plays a lot similar to Isabel, so we're going to see the differences between Villager and why he was the first Animal Crossing character into Smash. No need to change the alt, as I think this will induce a lot of fear in you. Alright, looks like first up we have Banjo, and this will be a good opportunity to see, uh, share a lot of Villager's moves, including his neutral B, which is Pocket. Now, I'm trying to use it right now, and... And this is good to use against Banjo, and I'll use it in a minute. There we go. As you can see, it'll take any projectile and keep it for later, as all you need to do is press B again to activate it. I'll do it a little bit later, but so far we don't have a use for it just yet. And you can see those balloons, that's his balloon chip's ability, his jab with the punching back, and you can even see that dash attack with his plants. F smash, that is his bowling ball, that is his F smash, and it can be used off ledges to just drop like that. It doesn't have much range as you can see, but using it off stage is very, very deadly and it can almost guarantee a kill. So yeah, and up air and down air, his turnips can range from either one to three turnips at any time, and it is random which ones those are. Squidward, are you okay? No. And look at that bowling ball, not even going off stage and taking the first stock with that kill with the bowling ball. You gotta get rid of that grenade a little bit faster though, as that timer is still going even when you pocket it. It won't explode until you reach it, get out earlier. Alright, down to the up smash, that is fine. I think we can actually avoid it if we didn't mash out there, because I think he's a little bit far, he didn't run up and do it. So, there's another dash attack, no up air. Fine. Let's pocket that bomb, save it for later. But yeah, watch out for that nair, it can be pretty deadly. Get a lot of damage on. Forward air and back air are more or less the same. Really, why Villager is such an annoying character. And you can see that Void Rocket. I'm trying to use it to block his incoming attacks and gets the back air for that second stock kill. We still have his grenade from earlier, so dash attack forward air. Alright, missing the down air. I think we got two turnips. Two turnips there. Alright, there's the bomb. Oh, it looks like it exploded in our hands, so. So you can also just pocket it for later again, which is a very, very helpful. And certain matchups can be really, really good. Alright. Is that Jack killing it around 180, 190? I don't really think it's terrible. Almost got the bowling ball yet again. And I haven't started with his F tilt, but that I believe is an umbrella. And it can be really helpful in certain situations. It has some good logic damage. Alright, nice down air. I take that bomb. Actually doing some damage as well. Doesn't get the fire it works, but it's alright. And that's a down smash into the up smash. Down smash getting a free birdie off. And then the up smash with the fireworks taking that free kill. As Villager taking on the bear himself. Alright, looks like Dr. Mario is going to be our final match before we're in Elite Smash. And oh god, we're on WarioWare. That is not going to be fun for the camera and for the blast zones as they are much shorter. But yeah, I haven't talked about up till. That's... Yeah, yeah. Some good jab damage. And it'll be really helpful with that bowling ball as well. Alright. Nothing there. I do a little more jab damage, just like that. Alright. Alright, looks like he made it back safely. You're going the wrong way! Huh? And another bowling ball. We're doing a lot more bowling ball kills off on stage and on stage. Alright, make it back again. Ooh, and we're still living. If we don't get rid of the last balloon, you can still be flying up just a little bit, as just like Isabel. And you also saw that tree earlier I planted. It could be really helpful. Alright, unfortunately I have to lose to a backyard right there. That's alright, we're still relatively in the lead. Just gotta get some of those. Watch out for the cave. Probably get a tree as down at some point. Alright, good forward air. See if we can drop a bowling ball. Oh, we got the plants, and there's the bowling ball dropping on him. Nice throw. His head 
and he's only on this blast dog. And there's that damn. Oh, should not have died from tornado with the blast and pressuring it. Also, the DI could have been a little bit better. But a good F tilt there. Watching out for that cape. Almost got him with that forward smash again. Just one turn up both times. Good in air. All right. And there's the bowling ball. Not going to kill yet at 77. So let's hold it. Nothing there. Some more jab damage. All right, get him at 93. Nothing yet. Roll back. Bowling ball again. Only one bowling ball kill off stage. The rest were on stage. So yeah, never underestimate the power of Villager's bowling ball. And there you have it, the mayor of Elite Smash. Well, actually, it was the mayor of Smashville. Now the mayor of Elite Smash taking his throne in relatively easy fashion. You know, Villager having a lot more unique and easier options than Isabel with, you know, who just has fishing rod. I want to talk about a little bit about Villager's tree as it's actually really helpful. It does damage on when it sprouts, so it has a hitbox there. And then you can use the axe, which does damage, to chop down the tree. You use it anywhere if you're not near the tree and the axe will do damage. And then once the tree falls, that can do massive damage. You can also pocket it for later. And there's also a little wood chip that falls. So that can also be used for wood chip combos, which unfortunately, as a non-villager main, I'm not qualified to do those. But yeah, it was kind of fun to play villager, at least for a little while, even though the matches were kind of long. Could have been a lot shorter, could have been a lot more fun. But, you know, dropping bowling balls on people's heads is always a fun part of yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below and drop a bowling ball on that subscribe button as we're just trying to get those subscribers up and any free little bit helps. And I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out and make it a great day, everyone.